experience backstage access, meet the pros, and explore muscle building insights. VNM TV, the latest bodybuilding news. Hi, I'm Marvin Nakabloom for VNM TV. I'm sitting here with Debbie Leshevsky. Debbie finished yesterday, two days ago, at the Olympia. She finished second. Damn, I want to know what happened. But first of all, Debbie, I want to congratulate you. Thank you. Thank you very much. How do you feel? Well, um, I feel a lot of mixture of emotions. I'm really excited that I was able to pull out the second. Um, you know, again, looking at photos, it's interesting because I, I, I'm really proud of myself in, in the comparisons as far as really being able to nail a lot of comparisons against Iris. And I think I beat her on uh, quite a few poses. But nonetheless, I feel I'm at a point now in answering your question that I've kind of reached this pinnacle um, where I'm crossing over this in, this in this tunnel and I can see the light where I can get that Olympian, you know, Olympia crown next year. And I, I believe I can do that. So I'm really excited that I've come up this mountain that I've been dredging up for years upon years trying to make my structure what they want better quality this the X frame and I feel like I really achieved that this time and I'm so excited I can imagine because we we and the other guys of the crew we were like sitting there watching the show and we were all like oh is she gonna beat Iris you know can it happen is it possible and even remembers me at a time of Ronnie when everybody was chasing Ronnie chasing Ronnie and you know, you wanted it to happen so badly. So we like fans. You really wanted to see you just winner, you know. Yeah. But I know you ain't going to give up. What will be your next show? The next show will be the Miss International in March. So that one, I definitely want to get the title. I want to get the title for that and the Olympia. And I would love to do both in the same year, 2013. And I really feel, I really believe I can do that without a doubt because I still now have five months to prep for the International. And as I, I did this year from the international from the Olympia of last year into the international this year I made quite a few changes that the judges were in in, in shock with and then I took the next six months into the Miss Olympia um, and even made more changes so I'm really stoked because I'm gonna even make more quality and I'm trying to create so much distance between me and any of the other competitors because all the competitors are just great and um, I admire all of them and um, but I want to put as much distance and put myself in a completely different place so. Okay. Now you got me all going. You're talking about these changes and then more changes and more changes. What, what kind of changes did you do? Just better. I'm a perfectionist, you know, and I, I just think, you know, I have this will. I, I was always under the belief, my, my family always said, if there's a will, there's a way. And I've always lived by that my whole life. It might not be how you want it to be, but it, if, there's, if you have that will, you just got to find the way. That's, that's the key. And along that lines is how are you going to find the way? Are you humble enough to accept advice? Are you constructive criticism. I am because I want to always be better. I don't believe we're ever just perfect and but we have to keep getting keep trying to be better. So I, I'm going to keep finding the way to even make it look just even more wow and just see if I can do that. I know I can though. I know I can pull more out of my, my physique because I think right now it's at a point where it's just hungry and it's just starting to evolve into that real round uh, you know solid through and through look. Um, if you look back in the days of, you know, Linda Murray's and those top Olympians where they just were right there and just real hard to beat, that's what I want to do. Okay, now you have me thinking about something completely different. Oh I see in front of me, Linda Murray, one of the all-time greatest female bodybuilders, Kim Chifasky, and if I remember, Valentina Chapiga. Who would you choose? Linda Murray. Yes. Why Linda? I just... She's statuesque, she's articulate, she has an aura about her that's just, you, you walk in a room and you can't but help but look at her. She's a beautiful woman in and out. I like how she represents women's bodybuilding, um, even while she was competing, and even more so after she's competed. She still is a wonderful representative, so. Thank you very much, Linda, all the way. As a female bodybuilder, and a person who is very active in a healthy lifestyle, how do you think that you can make the sport grow? Because most most females, they have a certain view and point about bodybuilding. It's scary, it's gross. But there are so many benefits when you do it the right way. How, so how do you think that you can make your, your part as ambassador that the sport can grow? Well, again, I'm going to try to find that way to do that. I think through my own, ex my own example and how I live my life, which, like you say, it is, it is a lifestyle. Um, and I, I really am passionate about it. 
it, it, a lot of it is, is really getting in touch with your fans one on one. Um, I make a point to answer, you know, my emails, talk to the fans at the expos, and take the time to genuinely, instead of just sign a picture, say hi, thank you, bye, find out really what their story is. Um, a lot of people do approach me and, and, and talk about wanting to go into bodybuilding, but they, there's a stigma, or maybe someone mentioned this or mentioned that. You know, I, I try to encourage women, especially strong women, that, you know, really be, own who you are. Uh, you can carry muscle as long as you're carrying it the right way. It doesn't have to be defined as a stereotype or a stigma or something. Uh, you know, I have a lot of muscle on me, for example. I'm 150 pounds. So when I started, I was 110, and I thought that was gross. I mean, I was like, muscle is yuck, veins. I mean, I don't want to look like that. I was like this little thing. Um, but it's something that you just, uh, it comes slowly. So, But you can also, being that it comes slowly, you can own it and like you know really be it instead of it just being something that looks foreign on your body and and I think it's a beautiful thing because everybody can carry it differently but I think if you carry it as a woman you keep your femininity because that's who you are and and you really are aware of how you're doing it because let's face it, it is more of a male male based sport but if you can kind of cross that line you know not cross that line into that 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 masculine side and keep it feminine I think it's pretty cool and that's the other challenge in it um, so that's what people need to do is, is, is keep that in the forefront, but not be as scared of it and put it under the rug and walk away from it, but just really look at it from a perspective and be open-minded um, that you still got a, a responsibility to keep it feminine because you are doing a male sport, but with that in mind, you can make it into something that is unexpected by people who see you on the street, but yet they don't know what to think, but they don't really yeah. dislike it, but they kind of like it. Yeah, you don't understand. You don't know. <laughs> you don't understand. And I think that's what's really neat about anything in life. There's there's all sorts of stuff in the world that we kind of wonder about, but um, it's, I think it's our responsibility to, to actually change that. And that's what I try to encourage people to ask me that question, how do I do this? And I said, it's your responsibility to change it and how to go forward with that. Because personally, I know of so many women that they really like, maybe they don't want to get into bodybuilding, but they want to just go on a diet. And the, most of the struggle, if they struggle with a the diet, they don't know how to combine, let's say, the family life with their husband, with the children, and then the diet or so. So what would you tell these women that really want to do it, but it's like, it seems so hard. So how do you combine your family life with your diet, your sport, and everything around it? Well, obviously it's very difficult to do that. You have to be a very, what should I say, very, very disciplined person and very good, very good at structure. So you have to be the best eater, the best person that can stay on course every single day and keep yourself structured. You're going to have to be very, very good at that. If, if you don't want to do that, you will not be at a certain level in the sport. That's just kind of how it is. Um, but depending on what your goals are, and let's say you have a family and children, you know, take it slow and, and, and take it, take it, piece it at a time. If you want to do a local show, do a local show, but keep in mind, there's some things that are going to have to kind of be put structured and you're just going to be a very good organizer. If you're not a good organizer, because I'm a super, super duper organizer, um, it's going to be, it's going to be challenging, but uh, that's probably pretty much what I would tell somebody in, in that. Thank you very much. I know that really women outside there, I know you all appreciate this kind of information coming from somebody like Debbie. So Debbie, I saw some pictures of you. Amazing. You. <laughs> yeah, you, you look like you look like a bodybuilder slash supermodel. I don't know really what to I call you. I look at him, I'm like, that's me? I'm like, I didn't even think that was me. Because yeah. half the time I got this dysmorphia and I think I look like a little figure girl. You know, I'm just this little thing over here and I'm like, man, that person's really big. Yeah. And then when I see pictures of myself, I'm like, I just kind of pulled that out there, didn't I? <laughs> I so surprised myself. So uh, besides of bodybuilding, now I can imagine that you're also doing some modeling, you're making pictures. What else do you do? What are the business adventures you have? Well, I do that, and then I, I run a training business, which I've had. Gosh, I've trained people for 20 years as I've grown in this sport, in this industry. I've grown my business, and that's grown into a really a, a, a worldwide business now with training, and especially with the Internet now. I'm able to train a lot of athletes abroad, which I have people in Bahamas, South Africa, Australia, uh, around the world. And it's a pleasure to do that and work with so many different types of people in different cultures especially. Um, and really, again, my way of expanding the sport and putting it out there so people have the ability to compete and, and then people in their countries can see what they're doing at a larger scale. Um, 
as far as being an ambassador in the sports. So I do that through my website, um, debbielashusky.com. And um, I train people locally in Florida where I live in South Florida. I have a training business there as well as, as far as local people and then people on the internet. Um, that keeps me busy and then competing to try to be Miss Olympia keeps me busy. So between all of that, I'm a little workhorse, I guess you could say. And, and um, just marketing, you know, my image and marketing really like, I think more than just the image, but I want more of the personality and the ambassador part of it than just the physical look of it. You know, that's, that's all great. But I, I really am big into the spirit end of it as far as how a person, their, sh their inner strength moves them. Because honestly, this is really what you are on the inside. And it's an extension of that. And, you know, I encourage people to find peace in their life and find you know, stability in their life. And really, that's when your body is able to respond to what you're giving it, really. So it's a little deeper than just the physical part, you know. Damn, Debbie's like she's comforting at all. <laughs> I've been around the block. <laughs> I've been around experiences. Yeah. So, so just to conclude now, is there any final words you want to tell to your fans or your family, somebody out there? Well, I just want to, you know, first of all, I want to thank my nutritionist, George Farah. He's world renowned. He's the man. He's helped me last four years be consistent at the Olympia and Arnold stage, which is, you know, when I worked, started working with him, I, uh, and everybody I know out there knows him. I, I said to myself, the biggest thing I want is consistency. And for sure, he's helped me become super consistent. And so I'm really excited to have worked with him and continue my career with him. You know, I definitely want to thank my sponsors, Ironville Clothing. Awesome t-shirts you guys out there. Buy the best t-shirts in the world for gyms. Iron, it's um, ironvilleclothing.com and ProTan, of course. But definitely, um, you can reach me on my website, debbielashusky.com, D-E-B-I. L A S Z E W S K I dot com or Twitter I F B B Pro Debbie D E B I and um, look me up. No Facebook and Facebook Debbie oh, okay. dot com. Yeah. He loves Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> well, now there's Instagram. There's all sorts of things out there you can there's find. So many, me. You can so find me. <laughs> but she's an easy person. She's an easy person to find. You can find me now. There might be other people trying to be me, but eventually you'll find me. You'll know who I am. <laughs> so. Hey, Debbie, thank you very thank much. You so Wishing much, you guys. all the best. Yeah. Thank you so much. Have a pleasure.